Here's how to highlight stuff in the Caden Live video editor. Once you set it up, it's easy enough to use. It's a little complicated, so here's a quick overview. So what we have to do is first we make the entire screen in the video faded out a bit using an alpha shapes effect. And then we add back in the portion we want to highlight using a second alpha shapes effect. First, split your track where you want the highlighting to begin. And then split it where you want to end the highlight. Press S on your keyboard, select this video track. Click the effects tab over here. Up here, type in shapes. And what we want is alpha shapes. Not shapes alpha, alpha shapes. Drag alpha shapes to your video track once for now. Click your video track to select it. And this will pop up in the effects composition stack tab. Click this tiny diamond up here. Change this from linear to discrete. Now lower the max value over here to about 200. And then change the size values until the entire video screen is visible but faded and dark like so. Click this triangle thing to collapse this, just so we don't get confused with the second alpha shapes. Now we drag alpha shapes to the video track again. Make sure you're editing the second alpha shapes and not the first one. The order of effects matters. Click this tiny diamond, change this from linear to discrete, scroll down, change this to add, and then change the position and size values here until this highlights whatever you want to highlight. If your mouse has a scroll wheel, you can hover your mouse over here, hold control on your keyboard, and use your mouse scroll wheel. Change the size. And if you don't like the border here, you can change transition width to zero. There, it's different. And it should work now. Ta-da. And then cut the track where you want to end the highlighting. Select the later one and click these tiny red garbage can icons to delete it. And there we go. Highlights. And then stops highlighting. You can save these effects and reuse them for later. So select the track with the effects. Click these three bars and choose Save Effect Stack to save both of them at the same time. Name it something. Here's a tip for more efficient workflow. Include letters like SD in the name. Pause the video to read an explanation. Anyways, name it something. Highlight or circle important step. Click OK. And now whenever you want to use it, you just go to effects and you just type it in here. Circle or, oh, here it is under custom. Drag it to the video track. Select the video track. Hide the first one and make sure you're editing the second alpha shapes. Click the tiny square, it shows the highlights, and just change the position and size values until you highlight something else. There you go, and you play it. The next row is the Roman the next row is the Roman numeral for each. There you go. There's a bug where you can't change the settings for a custom effect for some reason. But there's a way around it. Just move this tiny little triangle a little bit and then click the keyframe square or diamond. Now you can change the values. You can also highlight multiple things. Just drag another alpha shapes effect to your video track and then make sure you change this to add. And there you go, just move it somewhere. Ta-da! This also works for pictures. The highlight is hiding in this border over here so just change this until you see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, just change it. There you go. So yeah, I don't know why, but I was trying to look up how to circle stuff in a video editor and I couldn't, it was hard to figure out. But let me know if there's a video editor out there that can circle stuff easily and point arrows and stuff. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe. That should do it.